welcome back to my channel. I'm James and this channel's for everyone worldwide that loves great movies and great TV series that are released all over the world. Today is one that's just a really great 1960s family, comedy, drama, sitcom that really is just a reminder of how simple, kind of pure and innocent the time was back then. And it really is an absolutely wonderful classic TV series that me and my family still to this day enjoy. So I'm excited to announce that today we're going to be finally deep diving into Andy Griffith, the complete remastered TV series on Blu-ray. And this is one that I have talked about a lot on the channel over the year. It was an announcement that I kind of secretly announced here several months ago before anyone really knew about it. I had heard from some of my sources that this was going to be coming out and I did a secret announcement many, many months ago in one of my top new upcoming releases video series. And a lot of you that watched to the end of that were really excited and were really surprised by my surprise announcement. Well, it took them a little bit longer to release this. It did get pushed back a couple of times, but it finally did come out and I did receive my copy here just a while ago. So I've been working on this for a while now, trying to go through and test everything as I always do. And this is something I exclusively do here on my YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed yet, you're gonna wanna make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Because we're gonna be going into what's in this set. I do my exclusive testing of each and every disc. I'm gonna do an image comparison to show you the difference between these Blu-ray remasters and the original DVD releases that I own. And that's something I exclusively do as well. Then we're gonna talk about the TV series a little bit, my thoughts on the TV series, and then at the end, I always wrap it up with my review score. And that's something special as well, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure to stick to the end. That way you get my total review score if this is something that's worth buying, spending the money on and adding to your collection and upgrading over the previous DVDs, and if this is something you're gonna to wanna to get. So at the end, I'll add everything together and give you my total review score as well. Now, I can tell you this set was a very unique one because I had just recently done, about a week and a half to two weeks ago, I did the MacGyver Complete Series review. And that was also released by Paramount Studios and CBS Home Entertainment. And that's where I kind of talked recently about that there's a lot of misinformation about these two sets. There's a lot of things in forums and people talking about it in videos that really just don't understand a lot of what CBS and Paramount Studios is doing with these Blu-ray sets that are coming out. So I'll touch on that here just for a quick second again. These are manufactured on demand, but they are on pressed discs in regular Blu-ray cases. They are not on basically burned discs that come with those blue or purple backs that basically deteriorate quicker over time. These are actual pressed discs just like what you would get if they would have sold them in stores instead of doing them manufactured on demand. The only reason they're doing them manufactured on demand is to save the cost of shipping out thousands of these to stores and then them sitting on shelves waiting for them to be sold. So this saves the studio a little money doing it this way without degrading the quality of what they're releasing. So this is a reason why I kind of talked about before. I don't really go on to forums and follow groups and things like that because there's really a lot of misinformation out there. I've found a lot of people like to take ant hills and make them into mountains. And I'm sure a lot of you have seen that over the years, but there always seems to be like those that they'll try to make a big deal out of something that's not a big deal. This is actually a good thing for those of us that love physical media and collecting and things because that means CBS and Paramount Studios are able to make more of these sets because it keeps their costs lower while still providing high quality content on the discs. And that's what we're gonna dive into here a little more as well. Because even after I did the MacGyver review, I did get a bunch of questions, messages, comments about that, which it just seems like a lot of people have a lot of misinformation. It seems to stem from a lot of those groups and a lot of those like forums that people go on to because there's a lot, a lot of misinformation on those. But anyhow, this set is a very nice Blu-ray set that has come out. It is the complete series that has been completely remastered. Now, when I got this, I was curious, just like with all the shows I've been doing recently, if it was going to be more like MacGyver or if it was going to be more like I Dream of Genie. Now, if you haven't checked out either of those reviews, the MacGyver or the I Dream of Genie review, you're gonna to wanna to go check out those on my YouTube channel as well. I've done hundreds of classic TV series, 80s, 90s, 60s, 70s, 
tons of things that are remastered from all over the world. And that's why I said no matter where or what country you're watching this video from, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to subscribe to my channel because I test every disc and every set to tell you what the region coding is and if this is something you can import to your country or if it's something from outside of the US or region A, if it's something we can import to ours and if they're region free or region locked. Now I will tell you the cover art on here, I was a little disappointed with the cover art on here only because it is a very low res quality just so what the DVD cover art had on it. And I felt like the cover art was gonna be indicative of what's in the set. Well, I can tell you the cover art shouldn't be indicative of what's in the set. And we're gonna get into that here. Now on the side here, I was a little surprised because it's off center. And I'm trying to give you some of the nitpicky things in this just to show you what things I thought were maybe slightly off a little on it. They put the Andy Griffith just slightly off center on the side of this box set. Now, I don't display mine that way, so I don't know that it matters that much because when I display mine, I'm always gonna put them out like this, straight like this, so I can pull them out each season that I want. But I did just thought I'd point that out because people always ask me to be a little nitpicky on certain things. That is the one thing it is slightly off center on the side of the box art. But that's not really that important considering what we care about is really the show and the rest of what's in here. Now on the back here, it does have a nice picture. It talks about special features on here. And this is something I will point out. It does include all 249 episodes, plus the TV movie that was actually what they went back and did, which is called Return to Mayberry, the complete TV movie. And that's been completely restored and remastered in HD. And that was originally done on the season one release that came separately. And I always bought the original season one release just like I did with the original MacGyver. And so that was already on here, but it was nice that they did include the same season one discs in the season one release on this. So I thought I'd touch on that as well. Everything that was on the season one original Blu-ray release is included in this box set as well. So you don't miss out on anything of that. You won't need to keep this season one release if you already got it on Blu-ray for any reason. Now talking about the special features just for a second, there is some new special features they have included in here. Some bonus episodes like Opie Joins the Marines from Gomer Pyle USMC Season 2. It includes the colorized version of Pickle Story in HD, they did that in HD. And then it also includes all the original sponsor spots on the select episodes and they've been fully remastered in HD as well. So that's something unique as well. There's one other special feature on here as well that's a new one as well that's included in this box set. So to touch on that for a minute because I get a lot of questions about that. All the specials included in this new Blu-ray set are everything from the previous DVD release that I own and that season one Blu-ray release that I already showed you. So there won't be any need to keep either the DVDs or that original season one Blu-ray release if you get this set because they all are included in this new Blu-ray box set plus some additional ones and a lot of them have been remastered into HD which that's a nice bonus as well that they took the time to do like those original sponsor spots and actually upgrade them into HD quality with a new skin and everything. So I did like that added touch that Paramount and CBS did for this set. Now, as always, I will have this linked in the description section right below this video, as well as a pinned comment in the comment section. So if after watching my review and hearing my review score, you do decide you wanna pick up and add this collection, make sure to go down to the description section or in the comment section, the link I have posted from Amazon right there. You click on that, I've made it nice and easy for you. Take you straight out to Amazon to pick up your copy. And that does help to support this YouTube channel just a little bit. So make sure if you're gonna buy this, to go down to either one of those links and click on it. It takes you out there and order it, and there's no extra charge to you. Now going into the box set a little more, they did put new cover art on season one that's different than the original cover art that was released on the single Blu-ray season. Though the discs that are in this are identical. You get the exact same discs and the exact same content in both these sets, nothing's changed other than you get different cover art, which all matches in this new Blu-ray box set versus the original cover art. So other than that, I do like how these new cover arts say Andy Griffith on the side. They look very nice. They say the season one, um, depending on the season. And it has just very nice matching cover art. Instead of it being in color for season one, they used black and white to show you that season one was black and white, unlike the original release. For season one, everything was in color on the covers. And I didn't think that really fit considering that season one was black and white. So I do like that they color coded the seasons with the pictures on them to match what seasons were in black and white and what seasons were in color. So again, a nice little hidden tidbit there that I really do think CBS took the extra love to this set with those little things like that. 
Now showing you inside here just real quick, same disc so that you can see it, they're the same pressed disc, they didn't change anything about them at all. And there's nothing on the inside covers. Now I'm not gonna show you each and every inside, every box set, but they're all the same once I show you a couple of them. Season two has Don Knotts on it, again showing the season with a handmade picture there, showing the season on the side, and then the back again showing black and white, talking about the special features. And on each disc and each season, it will tell you on the disc what special features are included on the back of the set, and then it also tell you on the discs what special features are included on each disc. Now when you get inside here, it does have press discs, it says the Andy Griffith Show, they are gray as opposed to season one was the original blue discs. So all the rest of the discs throughout the rest of the entire series, so from season two through season eight, all have these matching discs, except for one disc, and I'll get to that a little bit later. But all the rest of the discs in here all match. They're all in gray with the writing on them telling you the season and then telling you the names and titles of each and every episode on each and every disc. And if it has special features, it lists the special features listed on that disc as well. Season three, and then on the side, and then on the back, again, a black and white picture. And this is something I'll touch on here for a minute with the black and white versus color. Seasons one through five were black and white. That's why all the covers on here are black and white because season one through five was black and white. It wasn't until season six through season eight and then the TV movie that it switched to color. So that is why there is a difference between these cover arts. They did like how they matched them up based on the seasons. Season four was Gomer Pyle. Says it the same thing on the side there. And then obviously the black and white picture here. Season five, it's got the picture of Opie. And then on the side says season five. And then obviously the black and white picture on the back. Season six, and then on the side it says season six, and notice they're all matching. And then on the back it starts showing color pictures because this is when the seasons change to color. Then season seven, side, and then back again showing color. And here's season eight, the final season, side, and then showing color again on the back because this was the final season in color. And then there was obviously the TV movie after that. Now, real quick, touching on season seven, I did tell you I would show you one thing that I noticed was odd about the discs. In season seven, when you get in season seven and you open it up, on disc two, for some reason, is the only disc out of the entire set that is different. On disc two of season seven, the disc, if you can notice, is different. This one is basically printed shiny and has like basically the graph through the disc. This is printed in white. This is the only disc in the entire set that looks this way. Now, there's no issues or errors playing any of the discs. They all played flawlessly, including this disc. But I did thought I'd point it out because a lot of you ask about little things like this. That is something that I did notice. I don't know why, but it is one disc in it that is printed completely different than any other discs in any of the sets, and it's the only one. So anyhow, I just thought that was an interesting thing. Nothing wrong with it, it just, it, it is a different disc. Now, Andy Griffith ran for eight seasons and 249 episodes. It's an absolutely wonderful TV series. It's got so much charm and heart, and it's about just this small town Mayberry and its citizens, and really gets you into their lives. It's got comedy, humor, wonderful heartwarming stories. There's some tearjerkers, but then overall, it's just got a really great comedic just sense to it, sensibility to it, without it trying to be crass or dirty or anything like that. And it really is just a wonderful show that me and my family to this day really, really enjoy. My kids love watching it, my wife and I love watching it, and I was excited when they announced it was coming out on Blu-ray Remastered because I really wanted to see if it was gonna live up to what they've been doing with some of their other remastered TV series. Now the show ran from 1960 to 1968 plus the TV movie. And you will find some varying quality throughout the series where maybe one episode wasn't as phenomenal as the next one, but overall the whole series is just wonderful as a whole. And that's kind of common for TV series. I can't name off a single TV series I've ever really watched that I thought every single episode was award-winning, but you just enjoy the characters and everything as a whole anyways. And that's why Andy Griffith is just an absolutely wonderful and phenomenal TV series. Now the runtime on this entire box set is 6,343 minutes. It's a massive amount of runtime and it is so worth it and such a great show that you'll notice the time fly by as you're watching the show and you'll binge watch it, we do. We'll sit down and watch a whole disc, sometimes two whole discs, right in a row for the night because you really get into the show and it has just great comedic timing, great writing, and it's just such an enjoyable classic TV series. 
Now I'm going to show you some screenshots above while I'm talking about and going through some of this and some other things with you. I'm going to show you the screenshots of some of the original black and white seasons as well as some of the later on seasons. And I'm going to be comparing this new Blu-ray remastered release, which is seasons one through eight, the entire series, to the original DVD release. This is the original DVD set, which I've owned for many years. And this is the original DVD release. I'm going to be showing you screenshot comparisons of the new Blu-ray remastered TV series spread out through episodes throughout the entire series. So some color ones, some black and white ones to give you an idea here while I'm talking to you compared to this original DVD release. Now, when you see this original DVD release up there, you're going to notice several things right off the bat. The original DVD release did not look good at all. And that's pretty common for a lot of DVDs. I mean, honestly, DVDs format itself it had its limitations. It could only show so much detail or content. It really didn't have really sharp lines or sharp images. So when you see that DVD up there, that is why it's simply a DVD image. It looked fine, but it wasn't amazing. It's nothing you were going to write home to. On this new remastered release, it really does look great. Um, I went through the entire series and no matter what I watched, it really just had fine details. It had the natural film grain. It really did have outstanding clarity for throughout it. Now, I will talk about the clarity here for a minute. There are some scenes because they scan the original film elements that no matter how much time goes by, there were some tears in the films that they remastered and tried to fix, but there are some small little hiccups and little tears along the way that it looks like they just couldn't fix. They're not overly bad. It's not throughout the entire thing that you're gonna notice it constantly. It's just little things like a little blip will show up or a little blip over there. But overall, the image is outstanding for a 1960s TV series. They didn't interlace the image. They didn't try to increase the resolution that messes up the image. It literally runs at an outstanding 1080p HD fully remastered image. And it really surprised me. Not just season one that I already knew how that one looked, but continuing on through the rest of the series. And the reason I'm holding season one is because that box set is so heavy. After a while, it starts pulling on my neck because the box set's so heavy. So I'm just holding one set for right now. If any of you have watched the channel for a while, you know that I was in a really bad car accident. So I have permanent nerve damage down the side of my body. So when I hold things that are too heavy sometimes doing this reviews, I do pay for it afterwards and I end up being in a lot of pain afterwards. I know that might seem silly to all of you, but that's something that I deal with because I live with permanent nerve damage down my body. But anyhow, that's just a little hidden tidbit. If you've watched any of the videos from way back many years ago on the channel, that's why sometimes I try not to hold on to a box set for too long, especially these big ones, because it does end up getting painful, but not meaning to digress here for a minute. The show does look phenomenally good. I was impressed with it throughout. And as I said, I know there's going to be some of you that will nitpick and look for, hey, there's a little speckle here, or a little speckle there. But keep in mind, for an entire TV series that's 6,343 minutes long, the amount of restoration and remaster work they did on this is outstanding. And that's why I wanted to mention about I Dream of Genie. If you've been a part of the channel for a while or you're new to the channel, you're going to want to go watch that review. That's something I did here a few weeks ago. And that was a show around the same time period as Andy Griffith. And that show was recently supposedly having to been remastered and released. Well, as most of you know from my thoughts, um, it was not done in any shape or form good at all. I mean, that, that show is literally a hot mess and is horrible. It looks horrible. No matter what you do to it, it doesn't play right. It's just absolutely horrendous release. Um, I can't believe how badly that show was released when all they had to do was exactly what they did here with this release is to scan it, do it correctly and remaster it correctly. And this is the proper way a show should be released. It looks great. And throughout the entire show, if you've seen season one, Season one is representative of what all the rest of the seasons are going to look like. Um, there wasn't any degradation in quality. Every once in a while, there was a few seconds of a scene, like I said, where maybe there was a tear in the film or something like that that they weren't able to fix. But that's going to be normal for the time period. Even I Dream of Genie or any of those other shows had the same thing. It's just I Dream of Genie. They left the whole thing torn up. I mean, the whole thing looks like it was basically ripped apart and put through a shredder and then put back on TV. So, and I'm being nice there. Now, I do want to talk with all of you about something real quick. A lot of you ask how I'm able to do these reviews, and a lot of these reviews do take me a lot of extra time and work, and this is something I've mentioned before. I buy a lot of these box sets myself. They don't get sent to me. Some of the times every once in a while I get a company to send me one, but most of the time, because I'm honest in my reviews, 
A lot of the times companies don't want to send things because I'll be honest about it and tell you truthfully if it was good or if it wasn't. And that's kind of the case with I Dream of Genie, and that's kind of why I want to talk about that. I've gotten some backlash since I've done that review. And there's been some people that have given me a really hard time because I was honest with all of you. And that's something that I will always be. And I talked about it recently here when I did my Karate Kid review. At the end of that review, I talked about it, that there was a lot of backlash. I got bad messages. I got bad things sent to me. I got tons of stuff. People saying, well, you should have given it a better review, even though it's a horrible release. How can you say something better? And I'm always going to be honest. And that's kind of where this comes in. That's why I have to buy and go out and buy a lot of these is simply because I'm going to be honest and upfront with you. But these do take a lot of money and a lot of work. And it costs me a lot of money for the software to get all the data off of these discs, to test all of these, and then also the computer, filming equipment, all of that in 4K. So how I keep doing these reviews on my YouTube channel is based on the support from viewers and subscribers like you. I take any of that super thanks or when you buy from those Amazon links, those go right back into this channel. That's how I go out and buy these sets, order these sets at full price, and I don't wait for sales. I have to order these at full price and get them in as opposed to a lot of you might be able to wait for a sale. I get these in, I test these, I pay for the software that I have to rent every month to be able to get all the data off of the disc because it's constantly updating, it's a constant fee. And then I pay for all the equipment, the 4K equipment, but all of that does take a lot of time, a lot of money for me to keep providing you all of this content on a weekly basis. So that's where I say, if you can give a super thanks, even if it's a dollar, two dollars, whatever you can give, on each of these videos, when you go down there, there's that super thanks button. And it looks like a heart symbol that I'll show you right here. That heart symbol, when you click on that, it allows you to give basically a tip to the channel. And that goes right back into this channel. It's just like basically Patreon. I don't have a Patreon account, so anytime that you wanna help support this channel, when you give a super thanks and you click through and buy through my Amazon links below, that helps support this channel. And that helps me to keep providing you all of this content that you get to watch here on YouTube. I know it might seem free because you get to watch it for free on YouTube, but it's not free for me to make. It costs me time, money, and a lot of expense to make these reviews. So I did just wanna point that out for all of you, that if you do enjoy this content and the videos I make on this channel, make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. And then if you can, please make sure to give a super thanks right below this video. That does help so that way I can keep providing you all of this content, spending all this time getting the software and doing all of this work to show you about all of these great TV series and movies that I review over the years. And I just wanna say thanks to all of you that have provided all the love and support over the years. I know a lot of you have given super thanks over the years and I do really appreciate it. Now, getting back into this, I was talking about the screenshot comparison above. And I wasn't meaning to digress and get off a subject here too much for a minute, but that was something important. Now, on this, you will notice on the new Blu-rays that the blacks are very inky, they look really good on it. It does still have, like I said, that natural film grain, but the film grain's not too heavy. There is some instabilities in some of the later seasons in the film grain that I will just slightly touch on. What instabilities come from is when they scan the original film elements and then they turn it into basically digital and then they remaster it, sometimes those original film elements are slightly warped. So when it gets scanned, there might be like a bubble and when they scan that, the basically digital processing and everything that goes behind the remastering and restoring of these takes that bubble and basically tries to somehow flatten it out, but it causes the film grain sometimes to have like, and it's basically like a shimmer is what it'll kind of look like. It's not all the time. It's not horrible in this series. For the time period of when this series came out, it is understandable. They did fix a lot of it and they have a very stable film grain through a lot of it. But I will point it out because a lot of you do look for the little nitpicky things that you want me to point out. There is just some very slight instabilities in some random episodes in the film grain. Most of the time I only ever noticed it in sky shots in the later seasons where they were color. It seems like in those sky shots every once in a while you'll see like a shimmer of the film grain kind of looking like almost like a bubble. But that's the best that it's going to look and I'm really amazed at how great of a job they really did with this entire series of Andy Griffith. After I did that MacGyver review, which I absolutely love, I've been watching that still. And now that I got this, once I got this, I started watching this all over again from the beginning. And I really love the Andy Griffith show. I mean, heck, Andy Griffith, MacGyver, just two wonderful shows. And I really do enjoy them. And I absolutely love this family series. Now they did keep this while they remastered in the original aspect ratio of 1.33 to 1. It's in full 1080p HD, and it includes six of the special features that have been basically restored and remastered in full HD. So that was a nice bonus too. Now there's 32 Blu-ray discs and they're BD50s. 
Now, those of you that are my international audience or anywhere outside of Region A, I am more than happy to announce after testing every single one of the 32 discs in this entire Blu-ray set, it is region free. So anyone around the world, it doesn't matter where you live, France, Germany, England, Australia, doesn't matter. You can buy this set from the link I put down there from Amazon and import it to any country. They will ship it anywhere. And that link is to this direct set that I'm reviewing. It is 100% region free and will play in every Blu-ray player anywhere around the world. There's no region coding, speed up, slow down, region locking. It's done perfectly in full 1080p HD. So that is great news as well. And I honestly feel like after doing MacGyver and then this review, I am thrilled beyond thrilled. I mean, uh, maybe my excitement's not coming out completely. I am beyond thrilled for them to release more series. And I really hope all of you are really hearing what I'm saying and supporting these releases. And I'll get to my review score here just in a minute. I wanna cover a couple other stats on here. Now, the subtitles on this from season two through eight, there is none. Same thing as the MacGyver release had. Season one is the only one with subtitles. Season one has the options for subtitles, which is your English and some other ones. That's the only season that has subtitles on it. Seasons two through eight, they did not. So that is one reason why you'll see when I get to my review score, it can't get a perfect review score because it doesn't have subtitles. Even though I don't watch them in subtitles, that always does go back into my review score because if it doesn't have subtitles, it gets dinged a couple fractions of a point. So audio on seasons two all the way through season eight is English DTS HD Master Audio 2.0. And the audio mix on seasons two through eight, just like in MacGyver, actually sounds better than season one did. Now it's not as drastically different as MacGyver was where MacGyver really had a nice upgrade over this season one release even more so from season two on in audio. This one, it is just slightly more noticeable where it's slightly more crisp and has a little bit more balance and has just a better tone overall from seasons two through eight on. Now, season one retains the original discs, original audio mix, and that's Dolby Digital 2.0. So my opinion has always kind of been that Dolby Digital 2.0 compared to DTS HD Master Audio, DTS HD Master Audio compared to Dolby Digital, in my opinion, always sounds better. So it is nice that they did a better audio mix for seasons two through eight, and just it sounds much more crisp and clear. Now, price-wise for this, this one's an amazing price as well. This one's a little bit less expensive than the MacGyver set, which really surprised me because they put just as much work into this amazing set. Each set gets their own Blu-ray case, they get their own artwork, each disc has their own episodes listing on it, they even remastered a bunch of the special features for this set, which really surprised me as well. Price-wise for the Andy Griffith Complete Series set on Blu-ray though, you're only looking at about 76 bucks. So outstanding price. There's no need to have to wait for some big special sale because 76 bucks for this entire series remastered is an absolutely outstanding price point. If you compare this Andy Griffith complete series set to what I Dream of Genie came out at, I mean, heck, I Dream of Genie came out at around 50 bucks. This is 76 bucks completely remastered all eight seasons. I Dream of Genie isn't even as long as this show, drastically shorter. Content and quality was horrible on that and they are charging 50, 76 bucks is a steal of a deal. Heck, this is an absolutely steal for what this show has on it. Now, my review score for this is an outstanding 9.8, and that's for the Andy Griffith Complete Series set. I was so excited about MacGyver. I'm so excited about this. I've been so excited about these releases. Disappointed in I Dream of Genie, if you watched that review, so disappointed in that. So excited about Andy Griffith and MacGyver. I cannot wait for hopefully CBS is gonna hear from all of us. You guys are supporting these releases and buying these, so we get more of these great shows because there is thousands of shows that CBS and Paramount Studios own that need to be released remastered on Blu-ray. Heck, Gunsmoke, I would love to have Gunsmoke completely remastered and released on Blu-ray. Have it on DVD and it looks good, but imagine if they put all that content remastered onto Blu-ray, how much even better that Western show would look. I love that Western show. But that's just to name one. I mean, heck, in the last MacGyver one, I listed off dozens of TV shows that I would love to see remastered that CBS owns. But this is a start. They released two of these within a month. These gotta be bought. I mean, to be honest with you, this and MacGyver are must buys. If you're new to the channel and you have not watched the MacGyver review, when you get done with this review, I'll put the link above, 
you need to go watch that MacGyver review. That set is absolutely great as well. They are showing us that they care about us fans. They care about us that love these TV series. They're doing something that most studios aren't even touching most of their old catalog titles anymore. Heck, Mill Creek, when they touched that I Dream of Genie, I wish they'd never touched it, to be honest. That's how bad it was. But anyhow, they're going back and doing this the correct way. This is how a classic 1960s comedy sitcom TV series needs to be remastered and released. And this is the correct way to do it. So any studios, if you're out there thinking of doing this, hear me out. This is the correct way to do it. I understand if there's tears in the films and there's certain things that just simply can't be fixed 100% correctly, but you know what? That is no reason to not do the best you can with everything else that's present, and they did. They made sure to go back and even those little tears fix as much as they could to make this look great. This show looks outstanding. I cannot recommend this set enough. So as I said at the beginning, when you get to the end of this review, make sure to go down to that link in the description section below or that I have pinned in the comment section below. Click through that link, go out to Amazon, buy it on sale for 76 bucks. That's what it's on sale for right now. Order yours right now because this is a must buy. Do not miss out on this set. Run as fast as you can to your computer and buy that through that link because this is a great job by CBS Home Entertainment. And to be honest with you, like I said, the little nitpicky things like this being slightly off center, that's why it got a little fractions of a point, that and the subtitles, because basically it was just fractions of a point less because they off centered that artwork just slightly and then they didn't give subtitles. Otherwise, this is about as close as you can get to one of those perfect releases, but can't give it a perfect score obviously because of that. So absolutely love this set. I love the individual releases they gave, individual Blu-ray cases again, just like what they did with MacGyver. And I am thrilled and I hope my excitement comes out in this video as well. I tried to hold it back at the beginning because I don't want to give too much away because I want you to see all of what I did through this review. And those screenshots above that I've been showing really show off how wonderful this show really looks and it really is a must buy. And remember, anything you see in these screenshots too, it's only going to look better on your own home TV. When your own home TV plays it, if you have a 4K TV or anything like that, man, it just looks even better in person. So keep in mind, if any of those screenshots up above don't give you a perfect representation, it's because when you buy your set and you play it on your own, you're going to see it even looks better. I will touch on these are manufactured on demand. So what that means is when you order it, if it goes out of stock, you just have to wait and they put it back in stock a day or so later because they only order so many at a time because they print your set on press disc, they get everything put together nicely for you and they ship it directly to you from the studio. So keep in mind, if it goes out of stock, it'll come right back in. It's not out of print yet. Um, these are gonna be in print for a while. I think they're seeing how many of these are gonna sell to determine if they can afford to do more sets like this. And honestly, I am so excited and really, really hope that these sell good enough so we can get more of these because this and MacGyver so need to be bought and added to your collection. If you love classic TV series, you love collecting TV series, you love Andy Griffith, MacGyver, you gotta support these releases so that they release more of these. Let me know in the comment section below if you're really excited about this. I know I am. I was thrilled when I went through this again, just like with MacGyver. I had a hard time containing my excitement and sending out all of you a message letting you know it looked amazing. But I know that's the point of these reviews. That's why I make these videos and these reviews to tell you all about it and to share the love of what I see in these sets. And this one, unlike I Dream of Genie, is an amazing remaster of a 1960s TV series with good film grain. So keep in mind there will be film grain. That's not wrong. Nothing's wrong with your image when you see the film grain. That's supposed to be there because it was filmed on film. But this, compared to those DVDs, is just outstanding looking. Even on the black and white seasons, this really does look great and has a really good natural details to their hairs and everything. I could go on for a long time and I probably already have, but most of you know I love to share about these and this is one that needs to be supported. Make sure to start that conversation in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Click that subscribe button, the bell notification, and please consider giving this video a super thanks. I really do appreciate that. And that's what helps me to be able to go buy these, get a lot of these sets in so that I can test them and bring you all my honest opinion of what I see and what I get off of the discs. So make sure to please consider on every video that you watch giving a super thanks that just helps support the channel, helps me to keep being able to provide all of this content and do all of this for all of you. I had a great time today. I absolutely love Andy Griffith. Man, I want Matlock. 
There's so many. Walker, Texas Ranger, I was like that show too, though it was a little cheesy. But I could go on all day about all these classic shows. EBS is the only studio doing this and putting so much work into these sets. Heck, they released two of these in one month. And I don't know if any of you know how rare that is for a studio to release two huge complete series sets within the same month in these last couple of years. That's a big deal. So we need to support both these releases so we can get a ton more of these. And I know I might have said that already, but man, I'm trying to get my point across about this because this is a big, big deal for all of us. So. I'm excited, I hope you're excited. Make sure to let me know in the comment section below just how excited you are and how much you enjoyed this review. I had fun today, I hope all of you have a blessed day and I've got more exciting content, as always, coming out very soon.